Hello, 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 everybody. It is I. I just want to say I apologize for the wait on uh, uh, my postings. You know, being very busy working. You know, it's kind of hard to kind of juggle. You know, it's kind of hard to juggle the times when I actually make a video and then having to work at the same time. You know, it, you know, I try to do like I said, I try to do my videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But a lot of times that doesn't happen because of you know my, my hours and everything. I be tired when I get home. And I, sometimes I sleep all day, and by the time I get up, it's time for me to get ready for work. So you know, that's life, right? Okay. Now today I'm going to jump off of the subject of the um, stories in the book. I want to talk about a story that uh, one of my viewers, Elizabeth uh, Morgan, has sent me. It's about a young man who, you're going to love this part here. His name is Lars Metank, and he is German, which is a very huge characteristic in a lot of these stories, dealing with missing people, and people who seem to disappear without a trace. Okay, now, the uh, most part of the story comes from him, uh, he was on a holiday trip, Hold on, hold on one second. He was on a holiday trip um, in Bulgaria. Uh, he got in a little scuffle with some um, rival schools, I guess. Uh, and he got hurt. I think he had like a little head injury. Um, and I think uh, he hurt his ear in the fight as well. Uh, he kind of goes a little nuts and thinks that someone is following him. Uh, in you know, in the days before he disappeared, he tries to fly home. There's footage on the CCT cameras and security cameras of him running all over the you know the, the airport. And then people see him jumping over a fence, and they dis and he disappeared into a nearby forest and was never seen again. Now. In between all of that, this happened in July of 2014. Uh, he's 28 years old, and like I said, he's German. Okay, he was um, holiday. He, you know, he spent a holiday at a place called Golden Sands in Bulgaria. Uh, you know, it's a popular destination for a lot of uh, schoolgoers. You know, from Germany and England. Now, uh, he went to a party on the beach. And uh, he, get, like I said before, he gets into a fight with, with some tourists, you know, over some football. It's kind of stupid, but you know how some people are. I got two friends at my job that are very adamant when it comes to, you know, sports, you know, and they get they get loud talking and arguing back and forth about, you know, how you gonna say that their D is better than their, their defense or whatever. You know, you know, it's just crazy stuff. You know, I I don't do sports, you know, unless it's martial arts. You know, I'm a kung fu kind of guy, you know, but. When they get to talking about sports, man, it gets crazy. You know, they just be, you be thinking they about to get into a fight, but it's just sportsmanship, you know? I mean, it never escalated to that, where you get in a fight over that, you know? But, you know, it is what it is. Everybody's different. So, anyway, um, let's see. Yeah, excuse me. Okay, um, now, Lost being a fan of football, he went to a place called uh, Club Word Worder. Bremen. Wait a minute, let me see. Hold on. Let's see, Lars being a fan of football. Club Werder Brennan. Yeah, okay. Has heated argument. And then with supporters. Yeah, which is, you know, pretty much an everyday thing with people who love sports. Um, it was, uh, it was a, a, a rival team, uh, I guess, from Bayern Munich. I guess that's a German team, I guess. Okay, uh, now the conflict ends up, you know, with a brawl, like I said before. He suffers a small injury, you know, in his ear. Um, at the end of the trip, doctors advise him to fly home. They prescribe an antibiotic called uh, Cefiroxime, Cefiroxime 500, uh, and refers him to a hospital. Now, when the holiday is over, he decides to stay in Bulgaria for further treatment. He rents a hotel. And he was a hotel room in, in the poor part of the town. He convinces his friends to go ahead on and take off without him. 
uh, just days later, he shows extreme, er, extremely erratic and bizarre behavior. This is where the running part comes in. Uh, all, you know, all uh, it was all caught on a CCT, CCTV cameras and surveillance cameras, and uh, he vanishes in the thin air. You know, in, in a nearby wooded area. Now I have the video of him. This is it right here. Probably see if you can see it. They say that's him walking. And then that's him again. You see the little circle around him. Then he sprints out of there at top speed. And you see him running. He's not sprinting, but you know. I see that's him with the and you know in the red circle. Now right after that, that was it. Nothing else. It's crazy. So, you know, that was him running around. And uh, that's uh, really pretty much all they had on that story because it was, it was uh, they didn't have a lot of information on him. They just know that the parents said that, um, and his friends said that he didn't never have any known uh, psychological problems at that point, you know, even b before all that. Um, but all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere, he gets this crazy, this crazy act going on and he starts sprinting out of the hospital, you know, after he's prescribed those pills. He was saying also that it was these four men following him, asking him what kind of drugs are those, you know, so I don't know where that came from. It might have been, now, if this is one of those weird cases, like how it be in the books, those four men could have been a manifestation or something that these things put in his head to make him think that someone was following him. Or they were probably just asking him a question and he wasn't in his right mind. And he just be like, he's thinking that they wanted his drugs or something like that. I don't know. Or it could just be because maybe he snapped at that point. You know, they always talk about people they, that's bipolar, they just snap like that. I mean, they say, you know, bam, they, they, they're nuts. You know, I heard a friend of mine was telling me uh, a couple years ago how their uh, a friend of theirs just snapped one day and slammed their daughter into the concrete. You know, and they did say that he had a history of uh, bipolar disorder. So, but as far as this guy right here, Lars Metank, I mean, he had no prior you know, uh, diagnosis that it was related to any type of, uh, you know, hysteria or whatever. All of a sudden, he just went nuts and just started. That's what people around him were saying. He kind of just went a little crazy. He's running all over the place. He jumps over a fence. He disappears into a nearby forest. You know, and he's never seen again. So, my take on that is, if there was a um, nearby portal in the area he may have ran right into it you know I don't know he may have ran right into it not even realizing that's what he did and they closed on him and he was never he never he was never able to come get out of it I don't know but that's just my theory just like all my other theories on these mysterious disappearances you know but uh, it is what it is but yeah that's all I got on that story I just got a look at some stories that's actually in the book a little bit more so I can get a little bit more in because I missed about three days worth of uh, stories that I should have been putting on you know, my posts so uh, like I always tell you I guarantee you I will be posting more you know it's just like I said between this here which I do love doing and working and my daughter and family and all that stuff you know it's just a lot going on right now and of course you got mortgage you got bills you know just like everybody else so to all my viewers keep star 66 and everybody else thomas mr thomas i just want to say hello aloha mahalo thank you for watching my videos and everyone else that's giving me all the uh, subscri subscriptions i got 76 subscribers and i want to thank all of you for joining my channel and loving my videos you know, um, I see I got a lot of views on a couple of them. You know, like one of them I think is like almost 190 views. So I'm getting there. You know, I just like I said, I just want to say thank you to everybody, and I will make sure that every story that I read is uh, really crazy. You know, I mean all of them are crazy, but I'm just saying. 
I will always make sure you guys get what you need on here. If you, if you don't want to pay those prices, you know, if you like in a, if you live in outside the U.S. and you pay those prices, you can always come here. I can definitely read you what you need to know, you know. And also, um, I see a lot of, um, you know, people out there actually want to buy the book. You know, like I say, all you got to do is go to uh, Can-Am, that's like Canadian American can am missing.com go to his website and it'll basically it's self-explanatory once you go to the website you know you just go in there look up the book that you want to order and it is $24.95 people if you go to Amazon do not do that they hike up the prices up to like almost a hundred bucks you know I think I seen some for like $89 you know and by the time you're done you're paying almost a hundred bucks for it so Go to uh, his website, canammissing.com, select whatever book you want, you know, choose the, um, I mean, if you can, you know, you want to go to that little selection where it tells you what kind of shipping you're going to be paying, whether it's U.S. shipping or out of U.S. shipping, you know, so I hate to say it, but that's your best option if you want a regular price, you know, so with $24.95 and you living in the U.S., it's going to be $35 tops. So, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get more into the story that I got another story that, I was, that I'm going to read. I think I still got it on that page. I had left my book open so I knew where I was going to be at by the time I got back to the book. I'm going to go over it and I'll read it and I'll post it hopefully by tonight. You know, so as long as I ain't got nothing else going on, which I really don't, but you know, I'm feeling kind of tired because I've not been up all day. You know, because you know, today I was off. Tomorrow I gotta go in at 12 o'clock, so I can't be up too late. Cause I gotta get my rest, you know, so I can wake up tomorrow and be to work on time, you know. And of course, you know, the Super Bowl's coming up. Bad part is I gotta work. <laughs> I hate that part. <sighs> you know. Now I hope there aren't any AT aliens watching this watching this channel. I just, I just want, I'm not gonna say that they're not gonna win. I'm not gonna say that they are gonna win. But I'm a New Yorker, so. My team isn't playing, so I can't really say who's going to win. I can't say that they're going to win. I can't say the other team's going to win because they're going to be playing in Houston on Sunday. So, anybody that's a Houston fan, big ups to you. Anybody that lives in Georgia, hey, like I said, I may be wearing red, but I'm strictly a navy blue and white guy. So, anyway, <laughs> you guys know where to find me if you want to listen to more stories about the Missing 411 books. And you know what I'm talking about, the... Sobering Coincidence by David Politis. Big ups to you, my friend. And I can't wait until that movie comes out. I'm telling you. I, if it's on, if it's going to be in the theater, I will be in the theater on the first day. If it's going to be on just DVD, I will be one of the first ones to buy it. But if it's going to be on a chat, on one of those, like the History Channel, where it's going to be a documentary, you know, type video, I'll be there too. Believe you me, but if it's gonna be in the theater, I will be there to watch that movie. You know, it's gonna get some big ratings with that. I'm gonna love it, and I suggest you all keep your eyes peeled for that movie. And if I get the information, I will post the information on my channel. That way, you'll know what's going on. I'll put it in the uh, description below once I get that information. You know, and I'm pretty sure if you just go to his uh, his Facebook page, you probably get that too. But like I said, for the ones that don't really do Facebook. I'll put it on my in the description below of when it's gonna come out and everything. That way you get a good idea of what's going what you can do, where you're gonna be, where it's gonna be at, or whatever. You know, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worldwide, it's gonna be all over the country. So but anyway. Like I said, uh I will look at a lot of the, uh, some more of the stories on the book, uh, whichever the next one is going to be, and I will post it on my next video. Like I said, I'm going to try and do that tonight before it gets too late, because um, I know my peak hours, or well, my peak days, is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, if you're watching, stay tuned, keep your eyes peered, and your ears open for the chime from my notifications. Alright? Aloha, mahalo, and uh, hoo you hoo people. See you later. Peace. Love you.